Watch closely. If old-fashioned flair and showmanship is what entertainment is all about, Arthur Coghlan is a top-class entertainer. As the man who put the magic in the Magic Castle on the Gold Coast, he's become as much a tourist attraction as the beach at surfers. But Coghlan's real passion is escapology, getting out of situations that we would never dream of getting into. The first one I tried was being locked inside a 44-gallon drum and dropped in a pool of sharks. That was the first one that I tried. That obviously worked. That one worked. Yeah, only just, but it worked. Uh, I've since had electric chairs. I've been chained into an electric chair. Uh, three minutes to escape. That one also worked, but that was nearly a shocking business as well. Uh, pardon the pun. And uh, I've been dropped into Sydney Harbour, chained to a concrete block. So you name it, it's firstly happened to me. Stunts like that earned Arthur Coghlan the title Gold Coast Houdini. And after he decided to get out of the dangerous escape business, he spent many years perfecting the illusions that made Harry Houdini famous. In fact, Coghlan is faster than Houdini ever was. But it seems that a good escape artist can never escape from performing escapes. And Arthur Coghlan is back in the business of cheating death. This time with a stunt involving a welded steel cage and the world's fastest truck, the jet-powered Walsing Matilda. The object, to free himself from chains padlocked around both hands and feet and his neck before Matilda tears the cage in half. The chain really doesn't come on until the last couple of days, like last night I just did it was a laughing matter, we joke about it, it's any way to treat it. But uh, from now on, it's a very serious, a very serious day today. The strain, the tension, is understandable. An escape like this has never been attempted before by anyone. And once chained and locked inside his steel cage, Coghlan will have little more than a minute to free himself while Matilda's jet engine is fired up and the truck takes off. Then there'll be no turning back, a responsibility which weighs heavily on Matilda's owner, Ray Kernigan. Well, Walsing Matilda has 3,000 horsepower and for anyone to be tied up with your legs in one position and your head in another and take off with 3,000 horsepower of jet engine and if you don't get unlocked in those few seconds, uh, he, he's now 5 foot 6 and if he doesn't get unlocked, he's going to be about 10 foot 6. We don't know what will happen with the jet when the jet takes off because that might blast the box apart before it's supposed to shatter. It's an unknown quantity. So uh, and the other thing uh, about it is if I rehearse and I get hurt in a rehearsal, well, this would obviously tend to put me off the actual performance itself. So if I'm going to get hurt, I might as well take the risk and do it in the performance. Uh, so we simply don't rehearse them. So that's it. Not only had Arthur Coghlan not rehearsed the escape, He'd never before seen the padlocks from which he'll have to free himself if he's to survive. State Affair provided the locks, but I had the keys. All right, you want to check all this here? You want to try and pull those wrists out or anything? Uh, Just check how tight they are. They're tight, all right. All right, mate? Yep, OK, I'm happy. Uh, happy? All right. Good luck. Thanks. The thing is, the most dangerous thing that I feel about this, this uh, performance that Arthur Coghlan is doing is that when I get in the jet truck, I can't hear him if he yells out, I have no communication with him, and I can't even see him. And I won't know whether Arthur uh, was able to escape uh, as, as planned until I actually get to the end of the arena here at Toowoomba Showgrounds or, or not. I won't settle down for several months after it's over. It does take a long, a long time. You never really settle down from it. It's, uh, it's like a stage show. You can do a stage show and a couple of beers, you know, a couple of hours later you're on wow, it's been a good night. That's a lot of fun. But a thing like this, it, no, it really does take months to settle down from it. We'd reached the point of no return. And if the ringside crowd felt anything like I did, we were all a bit shaky at the knees. Arthur Coghlan is good at what he does, but the chance remained that something could go wrong. Arthur Coghlan had once again stared death in the face and won. He says he did it for the publicity. Publicity for the Gold Coast and publicity for his own magic show. You've got to admit, it's a tough way to grab a bit of attention. Ah, oh, just undescribable, Brian. Uh, oh, the vibration, sorry, vibration's enormous in there. Uh, yeah, unbelievable. What was the safety margin? I, don't, I really don't know. The noise is... The noise in there is absolutely deafening. I could hear the chain go, and I, I honestly don't know. I just got up here as fast as I could, and... Ah, oh, you mean... Uh, <laughs> tremendous. Oh, thanks, mate.